Spokane firefighters took quick action to put out a house fire at a home in the Logan neighborhood this afternoon. The five Gonzaga University athletes who live there now have to stay with friends tonight. Prime 2's chief journalist Amanda Rowley was the first reporter on the scene today. She is joining us now live from the scene. Amanda, what do we know about what caused that fire? Well, Mark and Whitney, Spokane Fire have investigated the scene and they are saying an accidental electrical failure is what caused this home fire. Now, most of the damage is on the second floor. And when I got here this afternoon, I saw a lot of smoke coming from that upstairs bathroom window. At a home just blocks from Gonzaga University's campus, you could hear the damage before you could see it. The commotion on this block of Addison struck neighbors with worry. I got a text and all I saw was fire in Addison house. Shanley Sullivan didn't even finish reading that text from her landlord. And then I got here and like both sides of the street were blocked off, so it took me a while to figure out how to get to our house. But to her surprise, she saw firefighters coming and going from the home right next door. I feel absolutely horrible. These roommates stood by and watched with worry. It was really stressful to see those flames and like just thinking of the worst case scenario that's already happening to them. But like, what if it jumps to our house? This is home to five Gonzaga volleyball and soccer athletes. Spokane Fire Department says two students were inside when they smelled smoke. They called 911 and everyone got out safely. It took some time for firefighters to get a handle on the fire. Crews had to cut into the roof and back side of the home to put it out. SFD estimates $125,000 in damage to the home. Now tonight, an emergency response team is here working on boarding up the home. There is just too much damage for the students to return here. So some of them told me they do have other friends and fellow teammates that they're staying with tonight. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.